All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 17 franchise mode here with your Boston Bruins at the playoffs of year two. Yes, we made it. We squeaked by. We decided to be sellers at the uh, trade deadline there and somehow, somehow we made it, which is uh, astounding in its own right here. Um, we're gonna go, I know we had to cut it short last time, so we're gonna go through all this stuff. I just wanted to shout out here, Wave Hockey 21 for the follow, thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Um, while I was offline that came in, so, uh, thanks for the support. So, let, let's do a quick look here. We squeaked in the playoffs. 39-30-13. Pretty sure we were the last seed there. Um... We beat Florida by two points. It took that last... We had, we Hold on. We had one win at the end of the year, didn't we? Wasn't that how that worked? Let's uh, take a quick look here. I'm pretty sure we won that last game, and that's what did it for us. Yeah, we won the last three. We won uh, five of the last six there. And what else do we... Five of the last six. Six of the last... Seven. Seven of eight. 8 of 9, 9 of 10, 10 of 11. We won 10 of our last 11. And 11 of our last 13. So yeah, we went on a winning streak there at the end. Huge wins. Managed to squeak in by uh, one win there. And that's, uh, that's how we ended up here in the playoffs. So let's just uh, take a look here how we manage that because it's a it's a miracle when it's all said and done uh we're in the east here so yeah we managed to steal a spot from the islanders essentially and that's just the way the uh, divisions work out there so uh i'm quite quite pleased with that um where we're sitting here uh, stats wise we had 2.5 goals for that's on the high side but 2.57 we had more goals against than goals for and that's no way to win games this is going to be uh an interesting one 70 percent power play is not the worst shorthanded nine shorthanded goals against that's bad 81 percent uh penalty kill that's bad no shorthanded goals for but uh we had winning records both home and away, so uh, that uh, and we, yeah, we were nine and one in our last ten, and like I said, I think we were uh, was it eleven and thirteen in our last eleven and thirteen in the last thirteen. No. Anyways, however that math works out. Uh, next, before I go look at the stats here, so let's see how we're go we're going into the playoffs here, down heavily, heavily. We lost Tuka Rask for seven weeks. We're not going to see him in the playoffs. How did we get into the playoffs? On the back of Malcolm Subban. Um, so here, let's uh, let's go. I'll go show you uh, show you that here. Tuka Rask's been out for weeks with that injury, and, and it's uh, Malcolm Subban who's carried us home. So first, let's start with the stats here. Uh, David Krejci at 67 to lead our team. Not the best. And actually, Pasternak, who's on the second line. 85 overall, 60 points for him. Uh, he's, yeah, I think he was on the second liner, unless I moved him up. Yeah, he had uh, 60 points there. Plus 17, so that's going to help him grow. Koka Lekachev, not quite what we were hoping for there. Minus 5, but he did have 54 points. He's on the second line, I believe, believe as well. It's been a while, i got to check that. And yeah, he tied his AHL points, that's a... That's worth it to me. Bergeron had a downer year. Spooner over there. Uh, he's 26 now. He's not going to grow anymore at 84 overall. So he's pretty much stuck where he is. He had tied for last year. Less than two years ago. Not, uh, not the best outing for him. Krug is at 87. Still growing, I believe, Krug. Yeah, plus 11. 43. Yeah, and you know what? We traded off... Uh, so Daniel Chara there at the trade deadline. When I said we were uh, sellers, we traded him off. And guess what? We win all of our games as soon as Daniel Chara's gone. So funny how that works. Uh, anyways, here, just looking to see who really... Jimmy Hayes, that's not enough points. 17, that hurts. Uh, Bleed had 11. 
Uh, anyone else here kind of stand out? Barrett Jackman, he didn't... We picked him up to be depth. He's not doing too much, but that's all right. Let's uh, take a look here at the goalies. So, essentially, Subban and Rask played the exact same amount of games, 38 and 39. Subban, the better player, surprisingly enough. They had almost identical stats, so that's... That's that's the interesting part here is Rask's not playing like an 89 or Subban's playing like an 89. One of the two here, but uh, either way, that uh, helped us get to where we are here. So let's take a look at the whole league, see what's going on here. Pekka Rene led the league with 39 wins. Uh, Martin Jones tied him. Well, I guess they didn't lead then. They were tied there. Steve Mason there, 38. Cam Ward with 38. Surprisingly for Cam Ward. Uh, other than that, there's no real new names here yet. Uh, nope, nothing uh, special there, although it looks like Vasilevsky's starting over there in uh, in uh, Tampa now. All right, uh, and let, you know, let's see, who let in uh, shutouts here? It looks like 10 for Holtby. Yeah, there you go. Holtby's got 10. All right, defensively, let's take a quick peek here. Uh, P.K. Subban, man, 78 points, almost point per game. Carlson, 68. Uh, Justin Falk, he's not usually up there too high, so that's a new name there. Uh, any other ones? T.J. Brody's up there. Roman Yossi. It's the Tang. Jason Mary Clefbaum's getting up there for the Oilers, so they're looking uh, like a challenge now. Morgan Riley's 90 overall, that's scary. All right, uh, and then defensively, let's see who had the most goals here. 24 for P.K. Subban, not bad. And David Savard, actually, yeah. Noah Hannafin's getting up there. Medium elite, 21, 91 overall. Carolina, wow. That is scary. And actually, Tori Crew wasn't too far off there. 14, 10 off, but uh, anyways. I didn't know Corey Fowler was a medium elite. That's interesting. Adam Larson's a 91 defenseman. Man, Edmonton's going to be scary here in a little bit. All right, let's see here. Points. Corey Perry, point per game. 82 and 82. Uh, Stamkos there, second. Ryan Johansson was up there. Phil Forsberg. Ooh, that one-two punch there. 79 apiece. And actually, Forsberg's 92 overall. Ooh, man. Too bad we didn't use Nashville this, uh, this one around, eh? That's all right, though. Uh, Sam Reinhardt and Jack Eichel got up there. You can see that 71 apiece for those two. Not bad at all. Uh, Tarasenko was kind of disappointing there, 67. But uh, anyways, and let's see here for goals. Vetchkin, 35. So he takes that one. Eichel had 31. Any other names? Nelson here. Brock Nelson had 29. Interesting. Okay, there you go. There is that. Uh, finally, we're going up against the Ottawa Senators, so we're going to take a look at their stats. I just want to see the whole league here. The San Jose Sharks took it all with 50 wins and 12 overtime losses. Not bad for them. Calgary made it. Doesn't look like Edmonton did. Who was at the bottom of the barrel here? Colorado, Vancouver, Detroit. Dal Ooh, Dallas was low. Edmonton. Tampa didn't make it. A lot of this comes down to goaltending, though. A lot of it comes down to your goaltending. So, let's look at Ottawa here. Who we are going up against in the first round. Of course, we want to make it all the way. Uh, 68 points for Eric Carlson. 63 for Kyle Turris. Hoffman had 61. Mark Stone had 56. He's still growing a little bit there. Bobby Ryan, 54. That's a little uh, disappointing there. Derek Broussard. All right. Cody Ceci, 89 overall. Dion Fagouf, 86. All right. There you go. You got a Zingle. Not bad. Just pointing out names now. Goalie-wise, Craig Anderson. So, you know what? We've got a chance here. He has a worse goals against than we do. Less wins and uh, identical save percentage. So... This should be a fairly even game here. And he's older. So, uh, we might have a chance here. 
I like this Ottawa matchup here. You gotta watch out for Carlson, but uh, next what I was gonna do is I was gonna take a look here. Oh uh, yes, no, no, uh, budgets. I don't think that's the right spot. No, it's not. We're in the playoffs. You gotta bump up those ticket prices. Uh, should be here. Let's uh, let's make some moolah here. Eight season tickets are good. There you go. Get some money from those playoff tickets, baby. <clears throat> Everything goes up as soon as you make the playoffs, right? That's how it works. Even 50 extra cents per parking spot. That's not bad. Uh, upgrade and maintain. I was going to take a look here and fix some stuff up. Uh, yeah, I wanted to fix my club seats. So that's probably what I'm... Yeah, that's what I'm going to hold my money on for here. Yeah, everything's got to be in the shitter for now. We're going to upgrade that uh, club seat and then we'll worry about it. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, fan happiness is going to be a little low, but I don't believe that was a owner goal. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. They want He wants to make it to the conference finals. That is a, that is a uh, long shot there, but uh, we're going to do what we can here. So let's take a look here and see what the lineups are. Kokolekachev is back. All right, we're going to get him in there. Now, where did we have Kokolekachev? That is a very good question because I cannot remember. Let's see, who does not belong? Bernier. Bernier does not belong. And there's Riley Nash there as well. Yes, yeah, so that must that must be where he was. Okay, I'm gonna put Kokolekachev in, and then probably even Riley Nash here instead of Hickman. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure we brought up Hickman just to make up there. Yes, yeah, so that looks better. Much better. Okay, I'm liking this. Uh, t t t yeah, we'll we'll leave it this way. That's fine by me. Okay, and uh, special team wise, yes, Koko Lekachev there with. Why would we have three playmakers in the same line? That doesn't make any sense. Because we don't have any snipers. That's why. Ha <laughs> ha. Do we? Yeah, Seth Griffith is the only sniper we have. So, uh. I just put him in right here. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's get Seth Griffith in there. Get him some time on the power play. Yeah, we'll put him over there. Good, all right. Let's see if that boosts up our uh, anything over there. So we'll have our team meeting first. Uh, we're going to be demanding here. We want to get them going. Perfect. Everyone's feeling better. Good. Now let's see these lineups. Compare them real quick. <clears throat> the 43, 32, and 7 Ottawa Senators. Now, where do we sit in comparison to them? So, we looked... At their stats here. Uh, the opponents, yes. Hoffman, Turris, Bobby Ryan. That is deadly. Very similar to ours. They've got a better right winger there. Um, unfortunately, but that's all right. Um, our second line's pretty even there, I'd say. Third line's pretty even, and you know what? Even fourth line, pretty even. So this is, this is looking good. They got... Uh, they definitely have us beat... In terms of snipers here, because we only have one, and he's a third liner. They've got Mike Hoffman. You got to watch out for. Uh, defensively, you got to watch out for Eric Carlson, big time. And actually, Cody Cece there. Surprise, Carlson's not on the point, but uh, on the opposite side point. But anyways, the thought and F Fagoof, and then Patrick Sealoff, and uh, Orowicki. Interesting. So defensively. Ah, uh, they got us beat a little bit here. 
They definitely do, okay. And finally, we're going to look at uh, goalies. Craig Anderson and Hammond versus ours. That's a pretty... In terms of first, uh, starting guys, Subban's fine. He should be able to hold his own there as a rookie. Playing his first big, uh, big time playoffs here. He's stepping in for the injured Tuka Rask, who's out for the whole playoffs, so he's got a heavy uh, burn there on his shoulders. So let's see if we can't ride him as long as we can. So here we go, first period. Okay, Kyle Turris opened it up two minutes in, and then Seth Griffith ties it up. I'm okay with that. About four minutes later, second period. Okay, Brassard, three minutes in, beats Subban again, but then Pasternak and Bergeron there, ten minutes later, come back to uh, put us up by one here. Shots are pretty even. Here in the third, 18 minutes in. <clears throat> We're just looking for uh, for anything good to happen here, boys. Ooh, Hoffman ties it up. I told you those snipers, man. They're gonna they're gonna hurt us more because we only got one of them, and we're just, he's definitely not a first liner. Patrice Bergeron though puts us up by one after a nice shot. Oh, and Krejci, David Krejci, open netter with a minute 20 to go ices it, and we actually steal one here on the road. You can see there, Bergeron two goals. Back is three assists. Very, very nice here. Hoffman. Oh, no. I didn't want to look at Ottawa. That is not the team we are. We are Baston. <clears throat> there you go. David Back is three, uh, three points there. Three assists. Bergeron, two goals. Seth Griffith had a snipe. Yes, we saw that. Um, he had a power play goal. Um, Bergeron had a power play goal, and Pasternak, three of our goals power plays, I like it. That's converting when you need it to happen. Hopefully we don't have to rely on, uh, power plays there, but three out of five, that's not bad. Three of our five goals on the power play, sorry, <clears throat> is what I meant. Hankus has been injured, okay. We will... Trade you out. Uh, do we have anyone, though? Or are we going to have to go to defenseman? Yes. Okay. Let's get in. Uh... Ooh, these guys are young enough. So now he's 25. 26. Ah, 23. All right. We'll get Arneson in there. Put Arneson in. In an emergency. All right, here we go. Let's uh, see what we can do here. And that was they're not Air Canada Center. Who's who's Ottawa? It's not Air Canada. Anyways, we're gonna go here in game two on the road once again. All right, first period, nothing. Okay, we'll take it. Hey, that's fine. We're out shooting them this time. Second period. Oh, we opened it up beautifully. Seth Griffith, and then 20 seconds later, Pasternak pots one, followed by Krejci. So it looks like Anderson really hurts there from the slot. And then Eric Carlson manages one from the uh, the top of the circles there. A face-off circle. All right, that's our second. Let's get our third going here. We're, we're still keeping that shot up. Ooh, Carlson, though. Oh, and Riley Nash takes one back. All right, up by two still here. We were out shooting them there, but they're catching up very quickly. Power play for us. Come on, boys. Yes, Clark. Mac oh, no. Wrong one. Clark MacArthur puts them within one here with five minutes to go. Oh, and Riley Nash takes it back again. Another two. Riley Nash, man. Am I being too distracting, babes? Okay, good. That was beautiful there. Riley Nash coming in clutch twice there to keep our lead by two. And we win another one, boys. Riley Nash, two goals. Carlson, of course, had a good game. And uh, Bobby Ryan there had two assists. Interestingly enough. All right, let's take a look here. Jimmy Hayes had two. I like that. Krug had two. Nash had two. Those two beauty goals. Uh, one power play goal here from uh, Krejci. I like that. 
Not bad. And actually, Riley Nash had a 100% shooting uh, percentage there. He potted him when he had the chance. So, quite impressed with that. And you know what? We just went on the road, stole two, and we have a lead here. And back to Baston. And that is very important. <clears throat> we weren't even supposed to be here, boys. We weren't even supposed to be in the playoffs. And here we are, manhandling Ottawa. Let's see. Throughout the league here, uh, Columbus is up by three games. P Pittsburgh's up by two. Uh, other than that, they're all pretty close series here. Now let's, uh, let's keep her going then. At home against Ottawa. No need to change any lines. We're doing very well. First period. Nothing. Okay, we'll take it. Second period. Bobby Ryan took it three minutes in. And then Krejci ties it back up about halfway through. <clears throat> uh, shots are within three. That's not terrible. We want to keep that number up, though. There you go. Keep... Oh, yeah. Brought it... Tied it up there. Ooh, and Paul. Ooh, was that a third or fourth liner there? I think that's a fourth liner in Ottawa. Puts them up by one. We got five minutes here to go. Come on, boys. We gotta do something. Oh, and Kyle Turris nets an empty netter on us. Disappointing, but you know what? You had to expect Ottawa to come back and be pissed after that. You had to expect something, and uh, we just couldn't get it done here. Krejci with the goal there. No power play goals. That hurts us. That's been our bread and butter so far. Yeah, your morale's down. Yeah, it was a shitty game, boys. But, uh... I believe we still got a chance. Sammy Niku is available. Is this where Niku was? Oh, he's a defenseman. Okay. Okay. Uh, where would he go? Is it where Johansson is? Where's Niku go? Yeah, okay. Unless you want to hear where the joy is. Could certainly be it. Oh, well, we'll put him where Johnson is. I don't really mind. No, you know what? We're going to put him where Max LeJoy is. Or are we going to sit him? Maybe we just sit him. Yeah, you know what? We're going to sit him. That's fine. Can't remember where he went, so... Uh... <clears throat> we're going to leave it like it is for now. Brad Marchand, please tell me you're happy. Yeah, I like it. Let's keep it up. Really proud of how the team's performing. Perfect. Let's keep it up. Ah, he doesn't like that. Oh, well. And we need to be better here in the AHL. Not impressed at all. <clears throat> here we go. 2-1 lead for Boston here. Heading to our second home game. Hope for better things. First period. Okay, Marchand open it up. Pajot takes it back a minute later. Not even 30 seconds. And then Mark Stone there with a minute to go. Puts them up by one. Second period. Tori Krug. <clears throat> ties it up, then Mathot puts them up a minute later, and we take it back uh, about five minutes after that. <clears throat> this is quite an offensive battle here. Seems like no less than three goals a game. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here in the third period. Shots are about even. Man, I never like to see their shot totals go up. I love it when ours do, though. Power play, come on, boys. You need this. Ooh, nothing. Seven minutes to go. Come on. We need someone to step up here. Where's our first line there? Nothing. Heading into overtime. We need... Uh, we need some stuff going here for us. What was I going to take a look at here? Yeah, quite a bit of... Hits there. Alright, let's keep going. Come on. We need something. Come, Some kind of spark. Power play. Come on. Come on. That's a long one. Are you kidding me? 
We had a four on three power play and somehow Eric Carlson pots one. Are you kidding me? So CeCe takes an interference, then MacArthur takes hooking, and then Borowitzki takes a hooking. Oh, 17-20. Hold on. When did this goal happen? Yeah. Oh, shorthanded most likely. Eric Carlson seals it early in overtime. That hurts a lot. And now we're tied. Oh, that's the wrong team. Now we're tied 2-2 here. That hurts a lot. We had two power play goals there. Krug and uh, Marchand. Hold on, please don't tell me that was shorthanded, because that would really hurt if they scored in overtime shorthanded. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, thank God. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, okay. That's all right. It was even strength. That makes me feel way better, because a shorthanded power play goal by... Or short, shorthand. A shorthanded um, overtime goal would have been a death sentence. That would have... That would have just been ridiculous. Harkins in there, not that it really matters. Okay, we need some morale here, I think. Looks like we're not doing so well in, at home. If you Now, if I remember correctly, all last season, we couldn't win a single game at home. It was all road wins. No, no, sorry, we couldn't win it on the road. It was all home wins. Now, it seems like we can't win at home. Complete opposites here, but we're going in here. Expecting a win on the road. There you go. Griffith and Bacchus opens up the road game here with two quick goals or not even quick goals 13 minutes in and then uh, with 12 seconds left from a dirty dirty angle Here we go second period Nothing we'll take it. I like it Two nothing lead shots are really low here 16 and 18 in the third Not a high not a not a offensive game for sure Definitely a lot of defense. Probably lots of turnovers. In the neutral zone there. Five minutes to go here. Looks like... Can he do it? Oh, an empty netter for Matheson. And Malcolm Subban, man, gets his first shutout in the playoffs. There you go. 25 saves in a shutout. Beautiful play there. Patrice Bergeron with two, Pasternak with two, Bacchus, Griffith with those goals, Matheson had a big one there, no power play goals, that's all right with me, we'll take it and that's it, Boston goes up three, three to two against Ottawa here in this uh, first round playoff series, we got a team meeting here, probably to say that we got a closer out. Let's see. What do we got to say here? Brad Marchand's happy. Good. I like it. <clears throat> got to demand these boys. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's liking it. 89% chemistry here on the team. That's a very nice number to see. All right. Here we go. At home. Let's close this out at home. Let's not go to seven. <clears throat> Let's get it done right now. We shouldn't even be here. Let's show them that we deserve it, though. First period. Kyle Turris opens it up with two minutes to go. From right in front of the net. That must have been a nice rebound. Second period. Bobby Ryan from the face-off circle. <clears throat> All right, we're down by two here. We're getting outshot as well. I don't like that, but oh, that power play was our chance to get back on track. Oh, come on, boys. You got to get something going. Oh, and Paul there on the, who was it, the third line, fourth line. Ooh, we are not playing well at home. Not well at all. And you know what? After that shutout we had, Craig Anderson comes back and shuts us out. How was that for a storyline? Malcolm Subban stands on his head, and then Craig Anderson decides to do it right back. And you know what? Exactly what we didn't want here. On the road in Ottawa. Game 7, round 1. Not where we wanted to be at all. We 
definitely not what we were hoping for here. Can we do anything for morale, though? Come on, come on. Yes, team meeting. There you go. <sighs> come on, come on. Gotta be demanding here. This team's gotta win games for us. Uh, let's just take a quick look here at the playoffs. So, um, Chicago beat San Jose. Calgary and Anaheim are tied. Nashville beat LA. St. Louis beat the Jets. Uh, Montreal beat the Rangers. We're tied with Ottawa. Columbus beat Philly. And Pittsburgh beat uh, uh, Carolina there. No sweeps. Uh, Philly was the closest, but they managed to take one. They uh, got lucky there. All right. Here we go. Last game. We need to see that first line. That first line, man, is not showing up. Uh, not... Not well enough. Not on the uh, the goal scoring front there. I know we don't have that that first line sniper, but uh, we need uh, something there. And actually, you know what? Someone mentioned we should take a look at Pavel Zaka. So I think we might end up doing that. Okay, you know what? Bergeron's got six points. Bacchus has got uh, five. Krejci's got five. You know what? All right, I stand corrected. Griffith though, four goals, one assist. You know what? He might earn himself. A promotion here you know what with that kind of performance man what he needs more ice time and you know what if we're in game seven here got to do what we got to do I think we do this no I think we do that Griffith yeah on the second line I like that good good with Krejci and Brad Marchand yeah I think I think that's what uh, what we need there. Let's uh, let's see if this change pays off here. What we need is a good good game out of him. He's got four goals already. Let's uh, let's see what we can do now. Here we go. First period. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to see. Three goals on twelve shots for the Ottawa Senators. This is where. Uh, the rookie goalie's starting to hurt us here. If Tuka Rask was back, maybe his poise could help us out. But uh, looks like Subban Man might be choking here in Game 7. Not happy about that. But uh, we had to thrust him in there with that injury, so can't hold it against him. Second period, nothing. Not liking that. We did get those shots closer in. Ooh, and now they're up by four. Ooh, that hurts. But Tori Krug, all right, puts us within three. There's lots of time. Patrice Bergeron puts us within two. Come on, power play. Come on, put one in. There we go. It's only a one goal game. Nine minutes to go. Oh, come on, boys. You gotta, come on. Come on, that veteran presence. Three minutes, come on, come on. No, don't do this to me. 30 seconds to go. We need something here. We put on a snipe show here in the last, uh, in five minutes there. Oh, come on. You got to give me something here. No, it wasn't enough. Oh, and we fall three games to four. Just like this game, we lost four, four to three. Um, that was a terrible comparison. But anyways, oh, the, they tugged on my heartstrings and it came crashing down. No power play goals. That hurt us. Oh, man. Oh, it's not for a lack of trying. Bergeron had two there in the third. Oh, that hurts. Oh, man, that hurts. But you know what? For a team that wasn't even supposed to be in the playoffs, man. They put up a fight. And so we'll sim... Oh, you know what? We're going to do that team meeting first. And we're going to sim ahead to the draft. And hopefully it doesn't crash this time. I'd love that. We need more out of everyone. That one hurt. Man, that was so close. Anyways. Looks like it's Calgary and Chicago. St. Louis beat Nashville. Oh, man. This is an interesting, uh, interesting round there. We'll see what happens here. We'll, we'll go take a look. Simulate up to here. Hmm. 
Yes, quite the scouting. Uh, more goalie time here. That's what we need. Uh, do we really need a back or a, a new goalie prospect? Probably not, but it wouldn't hurt just to take a look and see maybe. Consider getting one. Did you know the door's open, babe? Okay, good. All right, let's see here. Uh, more scouting assignments. We can, we can pick up the defenseman here. Why not take a look at them? And Rask is back. Finally, yeah, he never would. He would have been in it back in the last round. At that point, it wouldn't even matter. But uh, you know what? I'm quite happy with what Subban did there. He uh, kept us in it. He gave us a chance. And you know what? Hopefully that leads to some more growth out of him, which would be great. Would love some more growth. If he can start battling Rask, maybe we can uh, make some moves there. Chicago Blackhawks won it, and the Marlies take the, uh, the Calder Cup there. Who else do I want to scout here? Let's do... Yeah, let's do these uh, league uh, forwards here. How are we doing? 85%? That's not terrible. Game tickets are fine. Concession. It's fine. Merchandise. Not bad. And finally, here we go. Parking's fine. Good. Oh, that was heartbreaking. But you know what? It's a good try there. So, as you know, the draft seems to freeze on me, so hopefully it won't happen this time. But let's, let's take a look here. Have we had any growth? Progress reports. Let's see. Growth in the NHL. Well, of course, all the lines are messed up now. Doherty's growing. Emil Johansson's growing. Bear Jackman dropped uh, two points, one point. Yeah, that's all right. We expect that. Pasternak grew, actually, up to uh, 85 there from an 84. David Backus is falling. Ooh, I don't like that. Maybe Backus is on his way out. Uh, Koka Lekachev's growing, looks like. Uh, Malcolm Subban grew by two. Not bad, or not two, two points to, to 85 overall. Griffith is growing. All right, I like that. I like seeing growth. Down here in the, uh, in the minors. There you go, Timothy Lilligren, our first round pick. 76, so he's not quite ready, but uh, who knows? Maybe he will be in the future. After another growth there, uh, Carlo might be ready soon. Let's see, who's our highest? Vertrano. Oh, he was already playing up with us. Uh, Matheson was already playing up with us. Okay, yeah, so we're seeing some growth. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, what was I going to take a look at now let's see the trophies who won what and let's see the playoff tree here uh you can see so ottawa actually ottawa went on to the finals wow interesting so we nearly beat actually they went to seven in two out of the th four though but uh we we had a shot there so we kept ottawa on their heels uh and chicago just kind of wrecked it they went to game seven against calgary but that's about it Wow, way to go. Good win for Jonathan Taves, Patty Kane. They deserved it. Corey Perry won the Art Ross. Subban won the Memorial. Alexander Nylander won the Calder there with uh, with Buffalo. Interesting. Smith went to, to uh, Corey Crawford. Vesno went to Gibson. Andy McQuaid won the Bill Masterton. All right. And a Vetchkin won the Maurice Richard Trophy. All right, now is a good time to take a break, and then we'll be back for the draft. So thanks a lot for joining me. For those on YouTube, take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All this spelled with an L3 US. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons, so you can see when I'm live, join me in chat. I appreciate when you do. Quick break, and we'll be back for the off season. so stick around. See you in just a bit. Take care.